Korean here with Synchronize Within. Today's topic is on confidence. And not that arrogant, stuck-up, cocky kind of confidence. But the genuine, grounded, and connected kind of confidence. The confidence that emanates the real you all of the time. And not the you that's hiding behind a mask and trying to fit in or people please. Today, I'm going to tell you how to feel more confident as a highly sensitive person. You might not have known this about me, but I was an ugly duckling. Believe it or not, I used to stutter when I was put on the spot, or my mind would go blank when I was trying to say something funny or clever. To tell you the truth, a lot of the time, I never really feel like I had anything good to say, especially when I was in a group of people. But all I wanted was to light up a room, be able to connect with anyone that I meet, no matter where I am. And yes, I so wanted to be that funny, witty person that knew exactly what to say at the exact right moment. Honestly, there's a part of me that still wants that for me. For a long time, I never thought I would be that person that I wanted to be. But because I was taking in so much information, like people's energy, what they're feeling, um, how I'm reacting to a sound or a smell, or getting distracted because I have brain fog and I have allergies because I just ate something that my body wasn't able to break down. Being highly sensitive and wanting to feel confident, to me, felt like I would never get there. Honestly, when I stopped trying to be confident and just shifted the way I saw what confidence was, here are a few things that I realized. Confidence is accepting the things you're not good at and embracing and owning what you are. So stop trying to have what they have and start being what you have. They have what they have because it's theirs. The question is, what do you have? What is your essence? Next, confidence is accepting where you are in life, accepting where you are on your journey and not comparing yourself to anyone at all. Remembering that we're each doing the best that we can with everything that we've been given so far up until this point in life. And finally, to me, confidence is feeling grounded and connected and allowing myself to listen to my intuition and trusting that I'm always being guided. Then when everything falls apart, knowing that that struggle was there to teach you a lesson. And until you learn that lesson, that same thing's going to keep happening over and over again. It's just a matter of taking a step back and seeing the bigger picture and remembering that you're a spiritual being having a physical experience, not a physical being having a spiritual experience. Confidence is not boastful, being perfect, or patronizing. But the way I see it, confidence is knowing yourself on a deeper level and loving and accepting yourself no matter what. So how can you shift your perception on what confidence is? What does confidence mean to you? Then ask yourself, what type of person would I be if I was confident? What would I do with that? How would I use that to make this world a better place? So what are you going to take from this video today? In the comments below, let me know what you've done to shift your perspective on confidence. How do you see confidence? And did this video help? If it did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Then, come on over to synchronizewithin.com because if you're a highly sensitive person and you want to learn how to turn your highly sensitive shortcomings into highly sensitive strengths, you'll want to receive my free audio on how to create your vision and thrive as a highly sensitive person. You'll also receive my new videos right to your inbox and learn more about an online community for highly sensitive people, just like you. I'll see you there. Have a great day.